Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Room 350 Productions here. Um, I've got some free time in the cockpit of a uh, of a flight I'm on right now, so uh, I figured I'd go ahead and just record another video. Um, it's currently 62 degrees in Portland right now, uh, and we'll be arriving in about three and a half hours. So, um, before we get started, one of the most important things is that you set a good atmosphere while you work. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and open up some, some nice music just to get us um, just to get us in the mood. Here we go. There we go. Okay. That should set us up real nice. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get some uh, some orange because we're going to draw uh, Cancer Burrito Girl from uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. So, um, we're going to be drawing a Cancer Burrito no, Chick no, from... No, 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 no. Stop touching my feet! What's going on back there? I just got two shades. I'm just I'm it's not fun. So today we'll be, uh, we'll be, uh, looking at, uh, Cancer Burrito Chick from, um, that one show about, um, the sister is... Yeah. Okay. So, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um... We'll start with the, the the head of that hoodie thing this girl wears. This is good, right right here. We're gonna give her some ears. Uh, here we go. Okay. Um, we'll bring it we'll bring it down and around just because it kind of like kind of goes down and like around and it like comes comes like her out. You know. We'll fix we'll fix this in post. It's fine. Um, and there's also this bit that like connects to this other bit, if I'm remembering correctly right. And then there's like a button here. So. Um, we're gonna go for a bit of a, a bit of a darker shade of like a more a more orangey for um, her eyes. We'll go ahead and get those squared away. This is perfect already. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, we're getting the eyes in right away. One of the most important things you can do: get a real dark shade for some eyebrows we've got going on here. Okay, this is looking perfect. You got to make sure you get that shading um, absolutely right on those eyebrows. Here we go. It's looking, it's coming out really nice already. Um, we'll go ahead and give the eyes the bit of a bit of a bit of the outline around here. This is here we go, like all professional artists do, obviously. Um, then we'll go back to this sort of darker color and uh, fill in these eyes right here. So. Just go ahead and just go ahead and do this. Just gotta go right up to those those edges. Yeah, perfect. And they're completely filled in now. Excellent. And then obviously you need like a little bit of sparkle in her eyes, so we're gonna go like the you know, like the little white thing right here that like all the all the cool kids are doing nowadays. Great. Um let's go on to hair. Uh so cancer chick has blonde hair. Actually, before we even do that, we're gonna go back to hoodie color, um, and we're gonna get like the the front of the hoodie just squared away right here. So now you can see that our face is like in this hoodie. See, it's starting to come together already. We'll go ahead and select a smaller brush, and uh, we'll go ahead and put it in the mouth now. Here we go. Um, now Cancer Chick is smiling all the time, so that'll be good. Oh, you know what? Actually, we're gonna do that little anime thing where they make the mouth like kind of have like a little bit of that, and that means she's drooling. You see? See, it's got the little perfect. Um, so now we're gonna get like a pink color. So let's get like right in there, and that'll be. We can go back up to a, a bigger brush here. And gonna put it in like a put in like a tongue. Here we go. We're gonna fill all that in. Yes, it's looking perfect. Okay, we've got a fantastic product already on the way. Um, now, as we said earlier, we're gonna go back to her hair. It is like a like a blonde color. So let's see if we can see if we can't get that uh, color replicated right now. So let's see, we're going to go ahead and bring, bring this hair 
down here sort of fill that in oh yeah this is exactly what we're looking for have it come up that's great we can get some sort of cover up the, the eyebrows a little bit that's always fine uh, she's got like some some hair like right over right over here that's fine that works too you know you can never have too much um, too much art in your art so never forget that kids one of the biggest motivators for me to become an artist was I just had so much fucking time on these flights where I wasn't doing anything that I just decided while I was fucking around on my laptop not really paying attention to uh, actually learn a useful skill so I'm now actually one of the greatest um, anime artists constantly rating um, number one I don't know what's going on back there in the flight but uh, I'll just it's probably alright I'm going through worse right <laughs> Anyway, um, let's go ahead and start drawing the rest of this girl's body, right? We're going to get some black. We're going to really tone down the brush size. And we'll get like a, like a torso going, like down here. Oh, you know what? I forgot the arms. How could I have made such an amateur mistake? Obviously, I was just doing that to show you guys. I don't actually forget arms. I'm a professional. Um, we're going to come down like this, right? So we're going to have her sort of dress-like object coming out. We're just putting in the framework right now for these arms. And she's got like a little... Here we go. Here we go. See, I make it look so effortless, I know. It's going to be kind of tough to master this technique at home, but... There we go. Okay, calm, calm down. There we go. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and put in framework for these legs. Um, great art style. These legs are photorealistic. So let's go ahead and add... Oh, that wasn't, that wasn't what we wanted. Let's try that again. Yes. It's looking very good now. We're starting to come up with something really excellent. Um, so let's go ahead and add a little bit of color. I can tone this size up a little bit. Um, oops. Like, like here to be like her like leggings, you know, sort of things. It's got some, got some color up there. Oops. Here we go. I gotta say, this audio is really getting me into the mood to draw. Um, okay, so she's got a like a white shirt, so we don't really need to worry about that there. But she's got her color in her hands a little bit, a little bit pale right here, as you can see. There we go, flawlessly integrated. She's got bare feet, so we'll go ahead and draw those in. Come up, her like legs like this. Perfect. Okay. And um, let's see. We can actually use the fill tool. Is this the fill tool? No, that's the blur tool. Um, I'm actually an expert artist, but um, I. Um, what the fuck is the fill tool? It's the paint bucket. It's the paint bucket. There's no fucking. Uh, <coughs> you need your co captain here, Sergeant. Yeah, I, I'm looking for the fucking. Do you see the blur tool? Oh yeah, I see it. Like I'm just looking for fucking. We'll just get out of the way. I mean, it's just a paintbrush. What is this? Can, is this a clone stamp? No. That's that's the pen. Don't do this. Don't do this. Just, <laughs> okay, listen. Um, we don't need we don't need the uh, the paint bucket tool. No, where? Point to it. F fucking show me. Fucking show me the paint bucket tool. Ow! Hit. Move. Bitch! Huh! I don't know where it is. There's no fucking paint bucket tool. Yes, there is. No. Yes, there no. is. Yes, there is. No. It's under one of those, like, little tabs. Right? Not oh, fuck. <clears throat> How about the, um, the, the, no. 
go back up. Oh, actually, actually, it's in there. It's in the gradient one. Down one. Yeah, paint bucket tool. Fucking nice. Yeah. Don't Boom. Tell me there's not one. Listen, it wasn't immediately visible. Anyway. Well, I'm sorry. Don't forget It's okay. Anyway, um, <clears throat> back to your regularly, regularly uh, scheduled programming. Now we just need the eyedropper tool, which, um, um, is it under, is it under, where, is it like over, under here? Okay, we're just gonna get, we're like, close enough to the same color here, because I can't find the fucking eyedropper tool, that's fine. Um, and we're gonna use the paint bucket, and we're gonna color, that's not quite what I wanted. Okay, it looks like we're not going to do that. We're just... Let's see. Let's see if we can give it some, like... We're going to color all this in. Wow, man, that's pretty good. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, sorry, that was my, uh, that was my one of my co-pilots. Um, paint bucket tool is right here. Perfect. Look, you can't even tell... Anything's a matter. Whoops. Uh, we'll go ahead and just fill this in right here. Now you can see we're getting some some perspective work. The hair goes in front of this hood here. That's a very advanced technique. I don't expect you to be able to get it on your first try, but if you can, that's just amazing too. So, okay, we're gonna expand this hoodie item she's wearing until it goes sort of behind her, which is. Great. We're gonna make it cover up her arm a little bit too, just because that's a it's a real adventure we're playing with now. We'll go ahead and color some of this in. And then after that we're gonna switch to a darker color. Tone down the sides a bit, and we're gonna give it a bit of a background. So let's go ahead and it'll come behind her like this. Again, more perspective work, more advanced techniques. Um, let's go ahead and whoops, get rid of some of this stuff we don't need. Just these lines right here. Really smooth things out a little bit. Um, but let's make sure we've put back this this uh, black line before we're done. Excellent. Okay, it's starting to come together now. Just touch up, touch up the edges. Okay, let's see if we can get this in here. We got our darker color, and here we go. Oh, that's not quite what I wanted. Uh, looks like there's a space there that we can patch up in a second. Um, go ahead and go back to the pen tool. And just chill out with the size a little bit make sure this is completely in there and then we can fill great excellent oh and then we're gonna make sure that this is the correct color after that you can go around and make sure any gaps are filled in um, one feature of this particular character is in the white um, Things over here, so we'll go ahead and go ahead and put those on. Excellent here. Uh, she's got like a little splotch up here. If you ever notice that. And then we're gonna get in some real subtle artistry here. So don't go anywhere. Um, we're gonna get in into right here. Here we go. We'll put these here, and we'll go back to our black. Really tone down the size. And we're gonna make we're gonna make the design that's right on top of her right on top of her head right here. Now you can see this is a very delicate process, but once you learned it, it's a very useful skill to have. All right, let's give our girl a button right there. Uh, a little little indent for the button to go into. That's all right. And there, it's looking perfect now. Okay, now the last thing to do is go ahead and add a background so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and pick a color we're gonna go with sort of like a sky blue I'm up in the sky right now so that's what I'm thinking of 
um, and we'll go ahead and add we get in some black we can even let's see what should we add I'm thinking we could use a nice pretty skyline on this sky blue so let's go ahead and try that um, we'll add Add you know like a couple big buildings here. Um, um, one big building, and then like a that building's got like a like a twin brother. So we'll go ahead and, and go ahead and do that. Um, Great. This is just the background, so we won't have to pay too much attention to it. Um, yeah, these two twin buildings are going to look pretty nice. We'll go ahead and give them some, uh, you know, some lights in the windows. So you can just sort of there. It's starting to look really nice. It's coming together now. Great. And we'll go ahead and draw like a little a little airplane in the air. We'll go ahead and put our wing on. And we go the other wings over here. And great, that'll be our airplane. Looks real nice, doesn't it? Yeah, we're starting to look pretty good now. Um, we'll go ahead and put in a nice, a little bit darker. We're gonna grab a big brush for this one. We're gonna put in a nice sun. Yeah, this is starting to look really good. And we'll do a little like a little sun rays. And um, there you have it. Um, I. I think this might be one of the best drawings I've ever done. Uh, well, that'll be it. That is how to draw an anime character. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if so, don't forget to toss a like down there. Um, maybe add this to your list of favorites. Share it with a friend. Maybe they can learn to draw, draw just as well as you did after watching this video. You never know. Uh, don't stop chasing your dreams. I don't like fun! And, um, I don't know. And uh, don't forget to um, subscribe and check out all of our other videos here at 350 Productions. Thank you, and uh, have a wonderful night.